At 11, new developments in Fort Lauderdale's controversial crackdown on feeding the homeless and two scenes that could not have played out more differently. CBS 4's Carrie Codd live tonight to explain. Carrie. Erica, we're taking a closer look at two homeless feedings that occurred in the city today. One here, right outside of Fort Lauderdale City Hall. City officials say that feeding was illegal and resulted in three citations. A couple of hours later, there was another feeding at a church just a few blocks from here. That feeding, officials say, they hope is a sign of things to come. At St. Christopher's Episcopal Church in Fort Lauderdale, more than 100 homeless men and women joined for a meal Monday night. Much of the talk was on the city's new law restricting outdoor feedings and moving the feedings indoors to a house of worship with running water, bathrooms, and other amenities. Matthew Black was happy to receive a meal, but is not a fan of the new law. You're putting people, homeless people especially, in a position to where they cannot get food as readily available to them as, as they once were able to. Critics like Pastor Frank Pontillo says the new law was not well thought out. I think it was done prematurely. They didn't have a plan in place to accommodate the abruptness of people not having food. Specifically, Pontillo said there are only four nights a week where the homeless can get food at a house of worship. That leaves three other nights where outdoor feedings can fill in the gap, like feedings done by 90-year-old Arnold Abbott, who's been cited for violating the city's law. Robin Martin is the executive director of Hope South Florida, which is partnering with the city to put on the feedings. He admits they need more churches to step forward to host feedings. I hope that because the eye is on this issue in Fort Lauderdale, that the hand Hands will open up and begin to truly serve and care for this really um, desperate community. Earlier Monday, the homeless voice was cited by the city for handing out pizza outside City Hall without a permit. We're not going to take anybody to jail. Mayor Jack Seiler said he hopes the homeless advocates and activists join with the community to help create a comprehensive plan to combat homelessness in the city. The more productive use of all our time and the more productive use of all our efforts should be addressed to the homeless. This law remains in people's crosshairs. Organized groups like the Homeless Voice and Arnold Abbott's group have said openly that they plan to continue feeding the homeless in public. In defiance of the law, the mayor told me they will continue to enforce the law. There's also word that there will be a protest outside the mayor's house later this week. I asked the mayor about that. He told me jokingly that no one cleared that with him and his wife, but he said in all honesty, he understands where these folks are coming from and as long as folks treat Treat each other with respect. He's okay with it. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.